Hi guys, Top Hops here, and today I have my most expensive eBay package ever. So let's get started. Okay guys, so before we get into this package, I want to do a little bit of what we did last week, which was a bit of guessing. So last week before I filmed this video, I just ordered this thing, and it came in in like three days. So whoever sent this, uh, what was his name? I crossed it out so you guys can't see it, so good luck seeing it. But um, anyways guys, I'm super excited about this because I have this package here. This was, I paid... Let me figure this out here. I paid $90 for it. It was an auction. Nobody bid on it. It was $90. So I'm like, okay, perfect. I've wanted this pop for a long time. It came in a pop protector. I figured they were going to package it nicely because it was a rarer pop, right? Like usually if it's a pop that's kind of rare, the person knows what they're talking about. So it's better to order stuff like this instead of, you know, ordering, say, oh, I ordered a, I don't know, just give you a random one here, a Wally Gator. And someone just had one and saw that they thought that pops were worth something and they tried to sell it for $10 or something like that. That's why it's better to buy something like this because then they'll just shove it in there and just ship it off or whatever. So it's better to buy more expensive pops on eBay. Sometimes I find her like Chase Pops or stuff like that because people know what they're talking about. Um, but yeah, so we have this one here, guys. I'm super excited about it. Last week, I gave you guys a couple hints. It was the last one I needed out of a three set. I didn't have the other versions of this character, but I wanted this one the most out of them. This is an exclusive. I'll give you some more now. It's exclusive to Toy Tokyo. Um, it's pretty cool, actually. So this was no bids on it. I was looking at it. I was going to get Fire Jack Jack, but I didn't. I didn't have, uh, like, I bid... I think I bid like $28 on the Fire Jack Jack. And then right after I was bidding on it, this one came up on the side and I was like, oh, I hope I don't get it. And uh, Jack Jack went up to like $32 or something like that. So good thing I didn't get it because now I got this one. Um, let's open it up now, guys. I also wanted to talk about if there's any um, eBay packages that you guys, or eBay things that you guys have gotten before or want to show me if maybe you guys think I would like it, put it in the description down below or send me the link on Instagram, DM it to me at TopPopsYT, all one word, it's always in the description if you guys want to check out my Instagram. But um, yeah guys, also other things that I've gotten on this channel uh, for the late night eBay finds, it was the... Uh, the Cheese Dibble Skipper, I got the Chase um, King Dice, what was another one? The two-pack of Batman vs. Superman, and they were the um, Kryptonite ones. I got the White Lantern Batman, and the Batman Joker, the original one from Loot Crate, and I think that's it. I think that's what we've done so far. But oh, also, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about was, uh, there was a late night eBay finds that I got a long time ago, but I wish I did a video on it. I didn't do a video on it, and it was my uh, Freddy Funko um, in its uh, Statue of Liberty Freddy Funko. I bought that for like 60 bucks. I should have done a video on that when I first got it, but instead, guys, I did a video where I went to, um, when we went to New York, I went up the Statue of Liberty and brought it with me. So if you guys haven't seen that video, go back, check it out. It's a pretty cool video, but let's get into this pop, guys, because I'm super excited about it. I also want to see how they package this thing, which would be interesting to see. Uh, it's just a normal size pop here, guys, if you guys know what it is. You guys should know what it is, I think. I mean, I don't know if you do or not, but it, it, it's a good, it's a pretty good pop, guys. So this is one that when it first came out, I was super excited about it. They have three different versions of this character. I want to see if you guys can guess it. They have three different versions of this character. Um, there is a flocked one, a normal one, then this one, which is a Toy Tokyo exclusive. You guys probably know what it is. Okay, so it looks like they packaged it pretty good. I see bubble wrap. I see, like, newspaper and stuff like that. Newspaper. Um, but here we go here, guys. Let's just get into this. Uh, okay, so... Well... Hold on, let me take the pop out so I don't see it, but I'm... Yeah, this is actually pretty good, guys. Look at this. Cakes make the party, we make the cakes. $20 handcrafted quarter sheet cake. That's not bad, actually. 20 bucks for graduation? Hey! What else we got here? Uh, save 50% off your purchase of culinary tours and simply done products. This Tuesday, June 12th. Oh, we missed it. Anyway, this is here, guys. If you want it... The news is here. If you guys live in the area of wherever this is, I'm not really sure. You guys can get your deals. <laughs> I'm just making jokes now. Um, but anyways, guys, here is the pop. That was weird. Here is the pop that I got. So far, it looks like it's in good condition. Um, it showed the exact photos online, too. So I'm going to show you the back of it first, guys, I guess I'll show. There you go, guys. There's the back. There's the side. There's the front. Um, I know you guys know what it is now. But let me just, guys, also, if they do it like this and they taped it on the outside, there's a cool way of doing it where you can just take the scissors and just poke one spot into it on the side, then cut over the top. And then you 
can do just a simple cut like that and then it opens up and then you just pull it. Now this one did say it was gonna come in a pop stack or a pop protector at least, which is really nice. So uh, whoever you were, and if you're watching this, which you're probably not, thank you so much for the pop protector because that it just reassures that it's gonna come in good condition. And I mean, for a pop that's this expensive, if you're gonna spend a dollar on a pop protector, you might as well. Oh gosh, this pop looks amazing. I'm so glad that I got this one, guys. Now, I knew that there was a slight, a slight thing on the side here, which you guys can see it here. I, I saw this in the photos. I knew that it was there. Can you guys see that? It's this right here. I knew that was there. I did, I did not care about it. I'm probably gonna take it out of its protector and um, I'll fix it, because it's not even hard to fix that kind of thing. Um, they just probably didn't want to mess it up or anything or do anything with it. This is the Summer Conventions exclusive um, Doug with the Cone of Shame. I wanted to get this pop so bad and I finally found one for a good price. Um, Toy Tokyo, when we were in, at Toy Tokyo um, in New York, we went and they didn't have any. They were doing a giveaway for one. We thought that maybe we'd be able to buy one, see if they had one, like pay upwards of a little bit more. Um, but yeah, they didn't have one, so I thought I'll just order one online later. And I finally got one today, guys. Yeah, so that slight, uh, slight kind of pop up there, you can kind of fix it a bit. It's not bad, really. Um, but there it is right there, guys. Other than that, the box is in pretty much mint condition. So it's not even that bad. I'm not complaining about it. Can you guys see that there? It's pretty much gone now. But once I put, I, I'm gonna keep it in the pot protector anyways. But let's take this guy out of the box because I think if I'm not mistaken, the bottom, yeah guys, the bottom's pretty loose there. So I can just pop him out. Um, it doesn't look like he's ever been out of its box either. So that's cool. Um, but here we go, guys. We're gonna be doing a review on this one soon. But just look at him, guys. Come on. You can't get any better than this. Look at that. Oh, come on. That's such a good pop, guys. I love Doug from Up. Now I have Doug, Mr. Fredrickson, and um, Russell. His head doesn't turn, I don't think. No, it doesn't. His cone stuck to the cone of shame. I just love how big his cone is, too. In the movie, is the cone clear or is it white like this? I'm not sure. But here he is here, guys. Such a cool pop. Um, I like the way he's sitting, too. I don't think he's sitting like this in the original one. But he also looks really sad at the same time. I like how they kind of made it detailed on just like a white cone there. It's got the little buckles there. And then on the top, he's got his huge nose sticking out of it. He just looks really sad. And I think it's a really good pop. It's a great exclusive for Toy Tokyo as well. Um, but yeah, guys, there it is there. That's the pop that I got. Um, we've been doing pretty good with the late night eBay finds. And you guys seem to really like this series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, this is a different one that I don't think you guys would think that I would have got. Um, and I think one person guessed it when I was talking about it last week. Um, so that is a really cool one. I'm super excited to get this one. There's a slight bit of damage, but honestly, guys, like, you can't even see that. When I put this forward, nobody will notice it. I know a lot of people complain about that, like, oh, what a damage, why, why would you care about that? Like, but no, I'd rather have my pops in nicer condition than worse condition like that. So if it's in that slight damage, I knew that was there. Um, but anyways, guys, this is such a cool pop and really cool in general. Um, all of the pops that we've gotten so far have been pretty good. And when my... Now, guys, if it's a late night eBay find, I want it to be cheaper than Pop Price Guide or Stashpedia would be nice. This one was $10 under. It was $90 and then $3 shipping. So it came up to $94 American on Stashpedia. It is $100 if I'm not mistaken. So we've got another really expensive pop for the collection. Um, also, I added the crystal ship to my collection the other day on uh, Stashpedia. I'm just bringing up this now because uh, people thought that I bought the character or pot, bought the thing. It's, it's, it's what happened was I didn't even realize that it wasn't on there. So I just added it really quick and some people thought that I just got it then. But uh, that's just to let you guys know. Also, um, I think tomorrow will be a huge P.O. Box video. Darren, if you're watching, your package came. Also, uh, Judge Jack's package came and a couple other people's. We also got some letters in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's PP Joe pop protectors. My hair's really weird today. I just had a shower, so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's PP Joe's pop protectors video. I know it was kind of long, but I tried to cut it up, but I wanted to show you guys every different pop protector that it came with, so I had to kind of keep it a little bit longer. But um, yeah, really fun video. Also, Fugglers, Fugglers. Um, what was I gonna say? I had something to tell you guys. Fugglers. It was about Fugglers. You guys liked that video, um, but if you guys haven't checked it out, I know. Would you guys rather... Oh, that's what it was. Would you guys rather those videos where I did the um, Hatchimals and the Fugglers on this channel or the second channel? See, I could just put them on the second channel, but I also feel like more of you guys would see it on the main channel, so I thought you guys might want to see it on here, and less people follow me on my second account, which is just Tristan. It comes up on the side 
uh, thing if you go to the featured channels. Um, so if you guys want to check out that channel, you can. We haven't put in anything up there for about three weeks. The last thing we put up was the world's smallest Hot Wheels car. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to go over to that channel, check it out. You guys can. Uh, we have some pretty cool videos over there. I'm going to start uploading there more after exams. So not th I end school with my last exam on the Monday coming up. So if you guys... Um, are ready for the summer i'm going to be doing a lot of cool videos then so anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any more um like pops that you guys want to um tell me about that are on ebay for good prices i'll give you some things here like disney ones are really cool guys i mean here's the thing if there's anything because i can't go on ebay all the time and just keep looking through it and everything so if you guys do it and here's a little trick for you too if you go to ebay and you go to um, buy it now and then you go to newly listed you can see all the cool stuff that comes up that's how i found this one this one actually no i found this one but you can find a lot of good ones that way that's how i found my king dice actually but um you can find a lot of good ones if you go to um, auctions and then ending soonest is another one too. So those are the two that you should look through. Don't just go through best matches because it's, it'll usually be the same stuff over and over again. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more from me in the future or more late night eBay finds, let me know in the comment section below. But this has been another episode of Top Pops Popsters. Thanks for watching.